Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to discuss another set of interview questions for Databricks. So here, before moving forward, I request you all to please do subscribe to my channel and hit the like icon on this video. So let's move ahead and see what is the first question we have for today. So this is a very, very, very common interview question whenever you uh, you know, you put Databricks or Spark on your CV. Databricks is essentially Spark itself, right? Uh, UI for the Spark. Now, what is the difference between map and map partition? This is something that you should know when you put this particular tech stack on your resume. So moving ahead with the difference between the two, when we talk about map function. So if you have been watching my previous videos, you already know that, okay, I have used map function a multiple times, right? So whenever in terms of Spark, we have an RDD, you already know that RDD is a basic data structure for Spark, right? So in an RDD, whenever uh, you have to use a map function. What exactly it does is it gets applied to each and every element of an RDD. So let's say if I have an RDD and if I have 100 elements inside it. Now whenever I'm going to use a map function, what will happen is this map function will use each and every element from that RDD. It is going to use each and every element from that set of 100 elements inside that map function and whatever function you specify in the map, right? That is essentially the transformation function, right? So map is essentially it gets applied to each and every element of an RDD and what gets applied to the element that is a transformation that you specify in the map function. So map function you call with a transformation function and that transformation function just because you are using map what will happen is it will get applied to each and every element of an RDD. Now for this you know let's say if you have not seen this before and if you have not worked on this before first of all you should have worked on this when you are watching this interview series and in case you have not done that no worries we are going to see a demo also on this right now i'm going to show you how map function actually looks like and how do we actually use it but before that let's complete the theory part the second thing is what exactly is map partition okay we understood map there is something like we have an rdd we have a lot of functions, uh, we have a lot of elements inside the RDD and this map gets applied to each and every element of the RDD. We understood that. But what about map partitions, right? Now map partitions is also a transformation function that gets applied per partition. Now here is the difference. The map gets applied to each and every element in the RDD. However, map partition gets applied per partition in an RDD. So concept of partition also is coming from the Spark, right? If you have not watched my previous video, go ahead, watch the basic architecture of Spark, watch few videos on Databricks, right? That I have, you will understand everything, right? But here from the interview uh, question perspective, the basic difference is map function, map transformation function gets applied to each and every element of an RDD, whereas map partition, as the name signifies, Right, this particular transformation function get applied to every partition of an RDD. Right, a partition can have more than one elements. Right, so it is getting applied to per partition at a per partition level, and each partition you know can have more than one elements. Right, so this is the map partition part. Now let's move ahead and see how it actually you know how do you actually uh, do it when uh, it comes to the hands-on part of it so let's talk about map partition first right so when you're going uh, and talking about map partition in fact let me do one thing let us first uh, you know go ahead with the uh, syntax of map partition so this is how your syntax of you know map partition looks like you should always remember the syntax because the immediate question that gets followed up might be that okay you know they might ask you some particular question you know a hands-on question based on map or map partition or they may ask you just to write a basic syntax of map partition to understand whether you have done a hands-on or not right so this is how the map partition looks like rdd dot map partition it is very simple right map partition gets used on the rdd so you always have to say rdd dot map partition and the function which you are trying to use that is f 
प्रिजर्व पार्टीशनिंग इक्वल टू फॉल्स और इट कैन बी ट्रू एज वेल राइट प्रिजर्व पार्टीशनिंग एज इन वट एवर पार्टीशनिंग वॉज देयर बिफोर अप्लाइंग दिस फंक्शन द सेम पार्टीशनिंग यू वॉन्ट टू प्रिजर्व और नॉट दैट इज द पार्टीशनिंग साइड सिमिलरली द सिंटैक्स ऑफ मैप इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ दिस इज द सिंटैक्स ऑफ मैप नाउ इन दिस मैप फंक्शन यू जस्ट स्पेसिफाई द फंक्शन द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन फंक्शन विच यू वॉन्ट टू यूज दैट इज एफ एंड अगेन देर इज एन ऑप्शन टू स्पेसिफाई प्रिजर्व पार्टीशनिंग और नॉट सो लेट्स मूव and see how does it work so first coming on to the map partition right now uh, let me go to this particular command now if you can see i have created a data frame right in case you have not watched my data frame videos or you are very new i do suggest watching the basics of data breaks basics of spark i have a playlist do go ahead and watch it otherwise you can you know move ahead with this video so if you see this is a list right that i have created this is a from this i am actually trying and creating you know a spark data frame right and it is nothing but it is the first name last name gender and the salary right so this is the data frame that i have now in the now this is the data frame this is just creation of data frame right if i want to show you how this particular data frame looks like i can simply run this command over here and you can see that this is how my data frame looks like now similarly i am creating a function here and i am trying to use map partitions now i will show you how to use it actually so let's say this is a function right this is the function name reformat2 right it takes partition data let's say it takes the data whatever you are giving let's say it takes that particular data and then what is exactly happening over here right it has a empty list right it has a empty list now what is happening over here for each particular partition data what it is trying to do it is trying to go and provide a for loop for that particular partition data right it is going inside a partition and then what it is trying to do now from if you go up and see it has name right it has first name and last name so from first name and last name it is trying to create a name right it is trying to concatenate both of them with a comma then it is saying that the bonus is this much percentage of the salary right and then it is what it is trying to do it is trying to append the empty list which is here with the name and the bonus right and then it is trying to get you that particular list but remember how it is actually happening right it is actually happening on the partition of the data itself it is not happening element by element right you are providing the uh, whole you know data frame itself over here and it is happening on the whole partition of the data it is not happening element by element it is not saying that i am just doing it for the james smith it is not saying i am doing only for the anna rose we are not doing it right and this is the basic syntax that we talked about as well right this is the function that we are you are trying to use right and this is the data frame which is converted to rdd df.rdd right this is the data frame which we created at the top and then we are saying rdd.map partition we are giving this as an input we are giving this as an input this data we are giving it as an input and this data is nothing but it is getting you know it is getting used by that particular function in form of a whole partition set itself not element by element right it is not that james is going first then anna and then operation is happening on anna and then robert is going no it is directly going as a whole data set as a whole rdd partition and then map partition is being applied on it and whatever function is being written inside map partition that function is being implemented over here and then you are creating it then you are simply doing two df and then you are saying df dot show right so now if i run it you can actually see that this is how the output looks like right so what happened here it happened on the partition of data now when you compare it with the map part if you see here the map syntax right this is what we discussed as well now in the map part let me just comment this part first in fact let us uh, start with this only fine so if you see this is the same data that we had above right name first name last name your gender and the salary part right this is the same data so we have this data and we are creating a data frame out of it right and this thing i have shown you 
at the top as well it is nothing but just creation of data frame right and let's see this data frame as well although it is same so this is how it looks like now if you see i am saying df.rdd.map here instead of map partition i am just saying map only map i am saying i am not saying map partition let me just copy map partition line so that uh, it is even more easier let me just copy it side by side so you can actually see instead of rdd.map partitions right i am just saying rdd.map same syntax now instead of giving reformat to here right that that was a function for map partition but here for the map i have a lambda function right in case you do not know lambda function we are not going to discuss in detail about the lambda function here but lambda is a known named function right it does not have any name so that's why you call it as a lambda right so this is a lambda function now it takes x as an input right and then what it takes x as an input x is nothing but the element this is the element of an rdd it takes element of an rdd as an input and gives this as the output right now let me just remove this part now if you see right what is x here right let me go up so this is the data frame that we are giving right this is the data frame that we are giving as an input right df dot rdd right this is what we are giving as an input now x x is nothing but the first row right x zeroth part right it is going to take element by element everything it is going to take element by element so first row it, it is going to take and then it is saying x zero give me james then it is going to concatenate it with the comma and then again it is going to go and say x one then it is going to take smith right and then it is going to take the second element which is nothing but the gender column right and then it is going to do salary into two right salary is 30 so it is going to do salary multiplied by 2 so similarly then after that it is going to anna right so element by element right so first row it is going as a first row so row by row it is going and it will give you output as per this function which is a lambda function it is going to give you output as per this function and then after getting the output you are actually converting it into back into a data frame and you are giving them giving this the name as well right Gen name gender and salary let me show this so the moment i run this you can actually see that it has name gender and salary right so this is how your map function actually works right so if we go over here right this is how i showed you how map partition works it actually works on a partition of data not on element by element basis but map function actually works on element by element basis now instead of this if let's say uh, let me just comment it out and let me uncomment this part now if you see this is also a data set right this is a list now from this list i'm uh, like we have a rdd created now using this rdd as well i can say rdd dot map right earlier i had a data frame now in this example i showed you a data frame but in this you directly have an rdd right so directly on rdd you can apply map function so map function and the map partition can be applied on rdd only remember that you cannot apply it on data frame so even if it is a data frame you have to convert it first so this is an rdd rdd dot map right similarly la lambda function or lambda function can be anything you can say x comma one you can say x comma like x star star one x star two right x multiplied by one x multiplied by three so like that you can you know uh, add in anything so this lambda x is going to do nothing but it's going to take each and every element project right each and every element from this list and it is going to give the output as project comma one right this is the use of your uh, you know your map function and then you are just trying to add a for loop to print it right to print the output you are just trying to do a for loop so let's run this and see how it works so you can see that for each and every element it has done and it has uh, you know um, said x which is the element comma one so this is how actually your uh, you know map and map partition works but remember that after this let's say you have explained this right the other question that might come up 
between map and map partition is interviewer might want to ask you in detail to understand how much you know right so in that case another question that can come up is like when you should use map and when should when should you use map partition right because essentially uh, you know both can give you the same output both can give you the same output one is working on the partition at the partition level one is uh, working at element by element level both can give you the same output but then how do you understand what to use when right so the very clear answer to this comes from you know you have the ppt over here it's little theoretical okay so when you talk about map partition so understand that for example you are trying to connect to a database right now you are trying to connect to a database and you do you have an rdd you want to uh, uh, let's say uh, uh, you know when you are trying to connect to the database and you have to perform some transformations on your rdd then in that case database connection should be a one time hit right let's say your uh, rdd has 1 lakh elements right now those 1 lakh elements should not go and open the database connection again and again 1 lakh times right now in that case map partitions will help you because this map partition what it will do for the whole partition of the data itself it is going and it is going to connect to the database it, it will open the database connections and then you can go ahead and perform your operations right but if you use map in that case what is going to happen for each and every element let's say you have 1 lakh elements so 1 lakh times you are going to connect to the database right so it kind of slows down right and the chances of errors also increases so in that is a very classic example that you should always give to the interviewer when you are trying to explain it and you should also understand this very well right so whenever you are trying to you can always start with this example that whenever you are trying to initialize a database connection right for a particular partition in that case map partition is the right choice right because in the other way around if i'm going to use map right and my i have let's say uh, you know 100 elements then my map is going to connect to database it is going to initialize the configuration uh, you know 100 times which is not an ideal thing to do so this thing you should always be very careful of and these things you should keep in your mind so for example let me give you a syntax here if you look at this particular command right if you see what it is trying to do it has a function right df.rdd.mappartition it is using map partition and inside it it is calling this function f now what this function f is doing it is taking the partition data right and here you can actually perform the connection here you can actually give the connection to the database database right so what will happen is for partition of this this whole data you know your database connection will open now once your database connections are open you can you know whatever for each and every element inside the partition data you can perform any of your etl operations in line number five to six right you can perform your ETL operation on each element of the data and line number three, you can actually give the configurations for your database. So this is how you should understand this particular option, uh, like this particular option and the difference between map and map partition. Uh, this particular uh, code snippet, which I have shown you, I have taken it from Spark by examples. You can also go ahead and use Spark by examples and you can just see this uh, exact code snippet i have taken it from there to explain you the difference rather than you know creating the whole code again so thank you so much for being till here and do remember to like subscribe and share because as you subscribe as you share as you like the videos more you know i will be inclined towards you know working uh, for the youtube videos right so thank you so much for being till here